So I bring to you to the stage, he goes by the name of Abraham the Poet. Put your hands together for the poets in the building. Say something, man. It was good. It's your boy, Ibrahim Sadiq, a.k.a. Poet. We got a term going. How's everybody doing tonight? Sure. I'm just doing one, one quick piece right now, just um, Black History Month, an old piece. Some of y'all may have heard it, some may not. Let's get into it. I've got a question to ask. But if you're standing, you may want to sit down first. Think of this one. What if slavery was reversed? I want you to think about it. Reflect and then take another look. What if that shoe of oppression we've been wearing for so long sung you on the other foot? I'm just trying to stimulate thought, but I don't think I'm saying anything that you ain't already asked yourself. They got to feel like we got to cover who we are. You probably wouldn't mask yourself. See, if slavery was reversed, you wouldn't know names like Malcolm X or Dr. Martin Luther King. But see, that would actually be a good thing. Because they wouldn't have lost their lives fighting for our civil rights. Instead, it'd be the whites that win the fight. If there was no such thing as the KKK, then you wouldn't know victims like Emmett Till. Although many people don't know who he is still. I wouldn't have his mother screaming to leave the casket open so he could see what they did to a baby. If slavery was reversed, I dare any white kid to talk to a black lady. And slavery was that far away if my grandmother's great-grandmother was a slave and my grandmother's a great-grandmother today. See, when I think about slavery and it being reversed, I can't help but think as a mulatto, I kind of have it the worst. Because even though I'm in the middle, I'm grouped more towards the minority. But the roles will switch, I'll be affiliated with the newly oppressed former majority, you follow me? And I can't help but think, would the hood be painted with white faces? And would all my niggas still be catching these court cases? And would it even, would it even be an issue with nigga? Because it means the word black, so if it was switched, there'd be no need to have to flip that. No matter how much things change, they stay the same. We went from being in the Senate of kings to the Senate of slaves. Prison. Just like slavery. Same story, just a modern day tale. What if a switch of blacks to make I had the population in jails and died on crack sales? Or they'd be at a Fortune 500, some young executive, instead of catching three felonies consecutive. But see, you can't blame everything on oppression. You can't blame everything on our historic shortcomings. We wasn't always blindsided. A lot of this shit we saw coming. But the change, it starts with an army of one. You know how they say, one day, we shall love come. Thank you. They say justice is blind. Well, I know she ain't deaf, so I'm going to speak my mind. I've known justice for quite some time, and frankly, I hate the bitch. Because for as long as I can recall, we've been in an abusive relationship. She doesn't respect me, she neglects me, and whenever she has sex with me, it don't feel like we're making love, it just feel like I'm getting fucked. Before me, she was with my father, and his father before him. They cried out for help, but she just ignored him. We've been used and abused by the system. We try to speak up, but she won't listen. Because in the judicial system, there's this thing I call the color line. Justice can see, she just colorblind. Let me explain what I mean. The lighter your skin, the harder it is for your crimes to be seen. See, the cops can easily spot those crack rocks, but they seem to overlook a white collar crook catching the jokes on a laptop. Justice, she popular. Everyone's heard about her. You know, here and there, a couple words about her. As a matter of fact, all my family and friends, everyone that's related, Justice seems to have dated. But they never have relations. A couple times she threw it in our face. But whenever it would be the case, she calls rape. Says it was a mistake. And if her period's late and she starts to feel nauseous, before she starts showing, she goes to get an abortion. See, justice gives it up to everyone but us. And with us, she's everything but just. Through our times, your actions have shown that you hated us. We're just products of your resentment. You created us, and when we act out, you're surprised. I now see this relationship is near its demise, because you even started to believe your own lies. And even though it's your place, I feel you should be the one to leave. True, the deed is in your name, but it was all blood, sweat, and tears. This house was built on all pain. Thank you.